Normally, we hear from a district attorney general about prosecutions, but what happens when there's nothing to prosecute? Ansley Daniels spoke with District Attorney General Dan Armstrong in his first interview about the case and what his role is almost 10 months in when no one has been charged. On the night of June 15th, District Attorney General Dan Armstrong called in the TBI to help with the search for Summer Wells in the Beach Creek community. Now, as the 10 month mark is approaching, his role is looking ahead to the possibility of charges. It's a, a case that has uh, implications of uh, the legal system and the law, but it's it, you couldn't classify it right now as there's no criminal charges been filed. Summer's older brothers were put into CPS custody last July, but no charges have been filed over their removal. However, their father, Don Wells, is serving time in the Hawkins County Jail over DUI and violation of probation charges. This is a very complicated issue um, that has been made more complicated by the the, the players in this drama. No one has been arrested or charged in relation to the little girl's disappearance, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen at some point. We uh, make ourselves available to both the sheriff's office and the TBI to, to advise them as to the consequences of the next step that they're proposing to take and how we can do it to where if there is a eventually a prosecution, it'll be uh, what they gather will be something that would be that, that we could introduce in a court make sure we cover all those bases. If an arrest ever does take place, that's when Armstrong will look at what charges can be filed. If it ever got to the point where uh, we were ready to consider charges, then of course they would talk to me about what charges and who to charge. And uh, a case like this would uh, generally go to a grand jury if it ever got to that point. Armstrong declined to comment about Don Wells' current legal troubles. Even though he stays in touch with law enforcement about where they're at in this investigation, he is almost at a standstill in his particular role. Going off of that, obviously we know that um, Don Wells is incarcerated here. Does that play a role at all in this investigation? No, ma'am. On February 7th, a judge ordered him to serve the remainder of his 11 months and 29 day sentence in the Hawkins County Jail. With Mr. Wells, he knows uh, when he first came into the institution, he knows at any time he wants to talk to let their staff know and I will get to him as quick as I can. But Pruitt hopes the Wells family knows despite the other legal troubles, they can reach out anytime. Communication between uh, me and the family have changed, but they, I hope that they still understand that they can come talk to me at any time they want to.